Welcome back to the C Morning Show, everyone. It is 21 past 7, and it's also the 21st of May. Why is this date special? Mm. Well, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed today, May the 21st, as International Tea Day to recognize the cultural significance of tea in boosting rural development, providing food security, and also combating poverty across developing nations. Yes, and the special day promotes the sustainable production consumption and trade of tea while offering opportunity for actors at global, regional, and national levels. The aim is to ensure that tea continues to play a role in combating extreme poverty, fighting hunger, and preserving natural resources. And to talk about all things tea, we will chat with the tea specialist, Ratna Somantri, right here in the studio. Good morning, Mbak Ratna. Thank you for coming in. Good morning. Thank happy you for Easter. having me and celebrating the International yes. Yes. Happy, happy Day. Happy Easter. 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 Wow. This uh, uh, new information for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so before we start trying to mix all these beautiful things, it looks so lovely. <laughs> yeah. so, so, Help us understand tea. We need to know what what constitutes tea. So first thing first, what uh, the, there are three main there are three main categories to, to be considered as tea. What are they? Okay, actually there are six main categories of Sorry, tea. Six. Oh, okay, <laughs> but today I'm bringing three. Okay. okay. But before we talk about the categories of tea, we need to really understand what is tea. Yes. Because sometimes we drink tea, mm -mm. they over tea, but it's actually not tea. Oh, oh what would it yeah. be then? What are some Such of the alternatives? Like chamomile. Oh, it's not a tea. Oh, it's not a tea. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so lavender is not a tea. Lavender is not a tea. You learned, you learned two things today. <laughs> and also in Rosella, it's not a tea. Yes, of course. Oh. <laughs> but everything that looks, uh, that oh. brew in the teapot oh. and then okay. drink in a teacup, we call it tea. We think but it's actually, tea. Oh. tea is a beverage that made from the tea leaf okay. from a tea plant called Camellia sinensis. Oh. So uh, okay. the International Tea Day today is celebrating the tea leaf and the tea plant oh. all over the okay. world. Okay. It's specific so. from a tea plant, yes. not from the other flowers or other plants. Okay. Yes, correct. Oh, okay. I don't know what to call Rosella anymore. Oh. I used to call it tea. <laughs> <Lavender>. <laughs> Floral tea or Laurel herbal tea, tea. Oh, yes. or tea sand yeah. or okay. infusion. Oh. So tea is basically something that you still you still get it from boiling water and uh, extracting yes. it from a tea leaf. Now yes. you mentioned right. categories. Can you break down what are these categories that we uh, divide tea into? Yes, uh, from one tea leaf, according to the processing, we can have white tea. It's very popular in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. One of the most expensive tea in Indonesia is white tea, and many people loves it because it's mild. It's sweet and it's very relaxing. Okay. And the second one is green tea. Green tea is also very popular. People drink green tea because they want to have the health benefits. Benefits. Yeah. Yes. Sure, love it. And then the black tea is also very popular for breakfast tea. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then oolong tea, maybe not oolong. very popular, but oolong is also a category of tea. Mm -hmm. And there are so many variants of oolong. Okay. And then yellow tea. Yellow tea is uh, only available in China and not many, but it's also a category of tea. Mm. And then uh, the other one is dark tea. Dark okay. tea, oh, yeah. okay. But other than that, there's still another uh, category. It's called like post-processing tea, like tea blending, oh. tea with flavoring, okay. oh. and then also aging edge tea, oh. roasted tea like hojicha, hojicha latte. Oh yes. Yes, it's a roasted green tea. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of variants of tea. Yes. Yes. Learning so many wow. things right now. Like, <laughs> oh wow, I need to take a note on that. <laughs> no wonder you don't count lavender and all this. That oh, be too many. Be too many. <laughs> so now we know the classification yes. of each tea. Correct. So uh, probably most popular uh, for amongst uh, the society about drinking tea, it, it, this must be uh, false then, after you explain that. Uh, we know about bags, tea, tea bags, yes. loose leaf, something like that. Please explain to us about that. Uh, if we want to sever, sever the flavors and aromas of tea, of course, loose tea is the best. Loose tea is yeah. like that? that? Yes, like this. Oh. But uh, because tea bag is invented for practicality. Oh. Because loose tea needs uh, like more preparation, okay. oh. it, uh, more brewing time. Okay. While for 
Tibex, you can just put and then put water. Yeah, and then and only one minute. Single yeah. serving, yeah. kind of instant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, very. Oh, okay. But if you really want to learn about, you really wants to enjoy the aroma and the flavors. Mm -hmm. So, Lusty. Lusty is the best. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now. All right. You have brought three types of teas with, with, uh, for, for today, and then um, can you show us how to brew, how to brew it correctly? I mean, it, these are all are loose tea, yes. uh, loose leaf. I'm sorry, and then so, but there's something different right here. Is this part of the what we're gonna yes. try today? This is uh, it's called tea blending. Tea oh. blending. It's very popular now because it's a very good introduction for people. Uh, new to tea, okay. yeah, okay. because it look pretty, right? Mm -hmm. nice, it is. <laughs> but there's tea inside, so it's still oh, called still. tea. Oh, okay. It's called tea blending. So it's uh, actually this is a tea that I made for a fundraising at my daughter's school. Oh, really? <laughs> oh yeah, crazy. Just yesterday. Okay. So this is green tea from Indonesia, and I add some. Uh, you know butterfly pea flowers, bunga, bunga telang. Oh, yeah. really? Yes. This is bunga the oh, that's what that is. Yeah, so yes. when it's, it brew, it will have a blue and blue, it's purple, yes, purple, dark purple, color. Yes. 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 And what are what are the what's the benefit of having that? Is it just added flavor? Is it an aroma? Actually, this is green tea. The base is green, green tea, so okay. we still have the benefits of green tea. Right. But because of the aroma and then other flowers, like crimson is very good for. Uh, panas dalam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. and it's also uh, make uh, give uh, more aroma. Mm, okay, mm -hmm. all right. And the and the and the color is beautiful. Yeah, okay, can't wait to see it. <laughs> yeah. And what else so, did you bring? Yeah. Okay, okay. this one is uh, green tea. Green and tea. It's very special. This is my favorite tea actually. Okay. It's from Sukabumi. Green tea is not Sukabumi. from Japan. I oh, know this is from Indonesia. It's also <laughs> from Indonesia. Oh, okay. This is. Uh, it's just won some awards internationally from oh. French, and it's very. I love it. It's very aromatic. You should try. Okay. Really? Yes. Oh. Really, really love it. This okay. is uh, one of my favorite tea. W one of the things, the interesting things that uh, you mentioned about this tea before we got on air was its price point. Is yeah. this like one of the most expensive teas as well you can get? Uh, until now, I think this is the most expensive Indonesian tea that I've ever yeah. known. Wow. And it's green tea. Yes, so what's green what's tea. the price? It's usually in oh. kilograms, right? It's yes. Or, yeah, so how, uh, how much? Per from the plantation, it's not the retail price. Right. Mm -hmm. The plantation is three million for kilogram. Wow. Per kilogram. Yes, that's three million. That's about two hundred bucks. That's from the plantation, in like. Yes. Yeah. So go the direct, guys. Like go, <laughs> go right to the but source. It's very interesting because uh, you mentioned about this green tea, uh, but. So we know that Indonesia have a green tea as well. Yes. But the most popular green tea is from Japan. I also bring one because uh, to compare, this is the green tea. I just went uh, come back from Japan because mm. it's Sincha, it's new tea season in mm. Japan okay. because they have four seasons. Okay. So every spring is called Sincha new tea. This is from Kagoshima, so this is Japanese green tea. But you know the price. This one is more expensive than oh, this one. And uh, for the taste and aroma, I like this one better. Really? Oh, but this okay. one I will brew with ice. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. So we're going to brew with ice. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's talk a little okay. bit about that um, in regards to How the to brewing brew, process. Brew yes. The tea <laughs> because obviously, it's not like we're used to the tea bags. You just put our water in <laughs> a dispenser. We don't want to ruin the three million. Yes. yes. <laughs> we never yes, brew a three yes. million. Uh, no, yes. no. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong about that, but the process of brewing it and the temperature of the water, all that uh, will affect the flavor and the yes, final result. Yes, of course, because what we drink is what is extracted from the tea leaves. Correct. Okay. Uh, and the water temperature and then the brewing time, it will affect what is extracted okay. into the tea. Okay, right. so what about the uh, uh, water temperature? Yes. It should be you so know, required. So this is because it's green tea, we brew it not with too hot water. Okay. So it's about around 70 degrees of Celsius. Okay. 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 So okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's start. Brew it. Are, we gonna, are we going to brew all three of them? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> have we have time? Okay. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is called Yuzamashi, uh, mm. actually it's a uh, Japanese uh, equipment, but because I don't know the temperature of the water, right. okay. so this is to cool down the water. Oh. Okay, by pouring so it out, it helps to yeah. cool down the, the water. Okay. If you have temperatures, right. it's easier. So this is because we need only 70 degrees of Celsius. Okay. okay. 
can see is... And I assume you have tools to measure the temperature of the water yeah. while you're brewing, right? <laughs> oh, but when I first learned about tea, because it's Chinese style tea, I need to use my hands. To oh, really? Oh, you can feel yeah. my hands. Oh, yeah. okay. I have very to, traditional. Very I have to. Expert. That's right. the expert. <laughs> so this is. You want to try, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> so we have to put the tea inside a con container that is not. There's no air or oh, water. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's around three grams. Because I will brew it with uh, Gong Fu style means that we use only uh, more tea. Less water, mm -hmm. but Less shorter water. brewing, uh, time. brewing time okay. to okay. to get the aroma, but less caffeine. Oh, oh okay. okay. Talk so, so I heard the as caffeine. well that the temperature matters because mm. some people there's this myth that oh, if you drink tea at night you won't be able to sleep. Me? But it's only if you brew it at the wrong temperature. That's what oh. I've heard. Correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, there is caffeine in tea, but we can uh, control the caffeine level. Yes by selecting the, the correct tea and also selecting oh. uh, the brewing method. Because caffeine is extracted at hot temperature oh. Oh. and okay. it needs more time. So what, by brewing it shorter time, yeah. we will result less caffeine. Oh, we can get the... Oh, less yeah, You're yes, learning you so know. much about yes, tea. Wow. <laughs> I already knew this because I yeah. looked into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Do you think it's more complicated uh, brewing tea or coffee, Paul? Since oh, tea, you know for sure. Bit. Really? Because <laughs> sure. coffee, there's, it, I feel like tea is a lot of, the, of it is done manually, like you can see about yeah. what I'm doing. But coffee, there's all these machines now. <laughs> yeah, so for you, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, because this is manual. We don't have like machine for tea. Right. Wow. Unless we're making iced tea. Yes. Oh. So you, you earlier, you already put some water, you dumped yeah, a little bit out. That is to... That's it's process. to prepare the tea okay. because uh, we only brew it in a very short time. Okay. So the tea needs to be prepared. So in short time, it releases the aroma and flavor. Oh, okay. okay. Wow. So, so I, I don't know if, you, if people at home can see oh this. Oh my it's God, it's very right relaxing. Here. This is the... <gasps> Smells so oh, wow. good. Is <laughs> very, it's very, yes, this is the ingredient. It's very, it's very complex, isn't relaxing. it? Yeah. Yeah. It's very aromatic, Citrusy. right? Citrusy. Yes. Yes. It's got, it's got a bit of... So, uh, you mind to buy it even though it's 3 million uh, for this aroma? Well, for, remember, you're getting a kilo, <laughs> yeah. so uh, it's a good deal, guys. Yeah. Yeah. How long that we can keep our uh, tea leaf? For green tea, the best is, uh, maximum is one year. For okay. Japanese green tea, only six... Six months? Six. Yes, six months. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we are oh, we start calculating it. Yeah. <laughs> So we, I, noticed, I noticed you have a timer as well. That's usually so you can time how long you're brewing. Yes, for, if right? I brew Thank for like you. this one, Sorry. I need to brew for two minutes. So okay. I need a timer. I but ah. for this very short, very short. you're doing I it quick. Okay. So it's, it's interesting. It's a, this wow. is a green tea, but it's very light. So, so we, we don't even see the color green on this one. Is, is this considered mm. still green tea? Yes, actually mm, the only so nice. green tea that has a green color Okay. It's Japanese green tea. Oh, yes, because it's the processing is different. The Indonesian like the matcha green. one is yeah. green, but other green tea like Chinese green. This is like the Chinese green tea, like so a it's, light green. Yes, it okay. smells so good. Oh, what what I smelled earlier. I'm getting that now in, in the, the in, it's like an aroma in my mouth, but not a flavor, right? Yeah. It's like going up into, yeah, it's a, I can taste exactly what I smelled over there. It's, it tickle your senses. <laughs> oh, wow. It is. Yes, it I, like and it, I, we can brew it like three fresh. times. Oh, up to oh. three times. Oh. There you go, three million. Yeah. Starting to look like a great deal now, <laughs> okay. right? Okay, so <laughs> one sip, one million. <laughs> so you, if you ever are going to order this, so don't, don't be mistaken, like you mentioned earlier, that it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't turn green, but it yes. doesn't mean it's not green tea. Yes, the green tea is the processing because it means that there's no oxidation in the process. Oh, yes. Okay. So what's the best way to know how long, like you are an expert <laughs> at this, but most people aren't. How do we know uh, how long to brew each particular yeah. type of tea or each particular type um, of blend? So okay. we're not doing we need yeah. to take, uh, We learn, we need to okay. learn. Okay, trial and actually, error, right? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, a green tea, like Japanese green tea, it needs only uh, not too long because it's extracted very fast. That's why I will brew it only with ice. Oh, okay. Okay. now. <laughs> yeah. oh. Why don't we try that? Because okay. I noticed you have some ice okay. here, so before it melts, show us how to make ice. Yes. Uh, oh, but how did you start it? 
Yeah. Ah. And why <laughs> you love to make all these things with because the equipment? The more I learn about tea, the more I fall in love. Because see, there's so many teas. Yeah. But this one is, uh, this is Japanese green tea. But I've never tried this. This is called Fuka Musicha. Mm -hmm. But the Fuka Musicha, this one is very smooth and sweet. Uh, I love it. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. So every time we drink different types of tea, even every day until we like maybe 100 years old, <laughs> there's always new tea that we've never tried before. Oh, no? So many out there. Yeah. Yes. So you've been it's a... Very green. This green tea oh, yeah. from Japan. Yes. It's Fuka Musicha. Fuka Musicha. Ocha wow. means tea, right? Ocha means, means tea. In Japan, uh, more than 90% are green tea. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm noticing, like compared to the Indonesian one, this one is greener, it's yeah. smaller, yes. like it's, it's more it's fine. Like, yeah. Yes. yes, right, okay. Then I will use some ice. Oh, okay. oh so you no. put ice in first. Ice tea, yeah. this time. This is ice, uh, ice brew called brew tea. Okay. The good thing about ice, you don't have to measure the temperature. Yeah. <laughs> it should be frozen. What but about it only the... can be uh, this method only can be used for Japanese tea. Japanese tea. Oh, is that right? What oh, about okay. the uh, the uh, smell of the uh, Japanese green tea if you brew it with ice? Is it uh, any different? Because the Japanese green tea, the uh, Japanese people more to find the sweetness and umami from the tea. Oh. They're not into the aroma. Oh, well, yes, for because it's very tea, strong aroma Darjeeling here. tea, oh, okay. Okay. Darjeeling more tea. to the aroma. Okay, okay. So this is a whole different method to do, to do a yeah. nice tea then. So this is yes. just room temperature water then? And then uh, ice. And then ice. Okay. Nice. And we need to shake it a little shake bit to, to make the process. Shake it, Master. <laughs> to wow. make the process uh, faster. But if you do this for other than Japanese green tea, right. it will taste bitter. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. So, what, what kind of things are we expecting from this this method right here? Uh, the green tea, the fresh one that has umami, mm -hmm. that has sweetness, okay. and then. Uh, and easy, uh, short extraction. Okay. Also, it's very easy to extract. Wow. So, by making it an Just ice... Just like this. <laughs> if it, if you like make that. like an ice version, does that reduce any of the... or change any of the benefits that come along with have, uh, consuming that particular tea? Actually, no. Just no. the aroma. Because we, when we brew it with hot water, mm -hmm. the hot water will release the... and it will easier for our nose to smell. Oh, okay. Okay. Because it's yeah. cold, it's not. Right. But it's very refreshing. Yeah. Okay, now let's oh try man. another tea. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so See, interesting. This is green. Yes. Okay, there you go, Indra. <laughs> it's more <laughs> He's been waiting for the green tea. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It needs to be green. Yeah, it needs to be green. Green tea. And there's no particular amount of time. Again, this is a quick one that you yes, can just make quick. right away. Just like shake yeah. it, like only like uh, 20 seconds. Indra can make them in his protein. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Green tea. It's very good before we exercise drink. Oh, is that green right? Tea. Oh. Yes. Oh. Why is it that? works like a fat burner? Help you to uh, burn fat faster. Re okay. Yes, I've heard of this as well. Yeah, I mean, oh. it's one of the benefits. It sounds like uh, the tea has a lot of health benefits. Ooh, with, right? yes. I love the cup. Yeah, me too. <laughs> very pretty. So we're not looking for a smell, right? No, we just, because no, it's just cold. taste it. It has umami. Yes. Oh. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's that's, that's umami. And now I get it. Yes, I understand what you say when we say I umami. Yes. Yes. Umami. That's umami. No, this is possibly the best green tea I've ever had. <laughs> because I Very drink a lot of green tea when I go to Japanese. Oh my I'm god, matcha, it's so right? good. It's because it's uh, sincha means that new tea. It, wow. Yeah. So I, I don't know we can have different experience yeah. from the hot tea mm -hmm. and this one. And the last one is the blend. Okay. Okay. Oh, mm. I feel like this is... I, no, I, I'm not good at describing flavors, Umami. but I, I, I can only describe that it's very clean taste. Yes. You know? It's, it's like, very like a yes. water and in you, the river. Yes, and you feel like calming and yes. relaxing. Yeah. Because umami means L-theanine. L-theanine is, when you drink it, it's 
works on your brain oh, to make exactly you like right. relax. Like cleansing. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but now how many times a day that you drink this? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can explain yeah. it very well. Well, we you know? know we know the tea's counterpart, coffee. Mm. You can't. You, it's good to have a few cups a day, but you can't have too much. Is there a, a bad side of having too much tea? Can there be a, a bad side? Yes, of actually, the bad guy in tea is the caffeine. The caffeine. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, the caffeine. But we can control the caffeine right. level, right. Mm -hmm. like you said. Earlier. Yes. Okay. Just through okay. the fast brewing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just produce. like. Uh, Make it less caffeine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try doing that with coffee. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot with coffee. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna try another we'll one. Try yeah. Indonesian tea. Uh, this the one Japanese. is Japanese, and now this is the tea blend from Indonesian green tea. Okay. Indonesian green tea. Oh. Indonesian green I mean, no, no offense Ooh. to our wonderful and very expensive Indonesian green tea, but I'm, I just have this like I love I Japanese. Know, I love green the tea. Japanese. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I guess because we're used to it, right? Yeah. It's also cold brew. It's uh, cold yes. brew. No, it's refreshing. refreshing. Yes. Oh, yeah. And refreshing. Mm -hmm. But the aroma yes. from uh, Indonesian green tea is amazing. Oh my god. The Indonesian green tea is for the aroma. Okay. Oh my god. It's very relaxing. The umami and mm -mm. sweetness. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So do you generally mm -hmm. consume your warm or hot tea in the morning and then the cool, the iced tea in the afternoon? Is that how you uh, like to do it? Yes, because there are so many teas in the world. Yes. Yeah. There's so many types. If you come to my house, I have like one, uh, so many. You have like cabinets yes, wall yes, of wall of teas. Is there any particular because, favorite tea uh, of yours? I love, I like this one. Okay. I also like this one. I bring my Oh, you brought favorite. your favorite. Oh, favorite. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure it smells wonderful in your home as well. Yeah. <laughs> like a spa. <laughs> But uh, the tea is not uh, the aroma is not like as strong as coffee. Yeah, right. so it's yeah. like more uh, milder. It's subtle. Yeah. yeah, very yeah. soft. Very yeah. relaxing. So, is there a different health benefits if you drink different type of teas or are they... uh, Actually, the most the the hero of tea is the polyphenols. Okay. Which is uh, acting as antioxidant. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And also the L theanine that mm -hmm. help you focus and mm -hmm. also calming and relaxing. Okay. Okay. So this is the tea. And then you have your timer out now. Yes, so. because I need two minutes. <laughs> two minutes to brew. Okay. Oh, look at the look color. Look at the color. <laughs> Shapira <laughs> was right. <laughs> Tolang. What is bunga? What is uh, but, uh, Yeah. Butterfly. Uh, butterfly bee. Yeah. Oh, oh. wow. So that's Pretty, the natural right? color that will come out of that particular. Yes. Wow. Plant. It is like a. It's a blue, and I could yeah. see. I don't know if the camera can Match capture it. Match to your outfit. You guys. could see the blue, almost like but, the, the mm, tint yeah, coming out of it, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes. Much to that. That's the aroma. Is. Oh. <gasps> <It's different. laughs> Oh wow! Okay. Oh wow! Oh yeah. my God! Wish oh. you guys can smell think, it. Oh my God! I think if heaven had a smell, that's what it would smell like. Oh my God! It's so good. It's it smells a... sweet. So yeah. Nice. Smells like... like a candy. You're yeah. right. I'm kind of trying to remember what kind of candy. Like it is. a candy, right? Right. It's, you're right. It tastes like, like something chew, that. Chewy uh, candy, something. It's nostalgic. Yes. It's so nostalgic. It's so nostalgic wow. from our youth. And I noticed now the the blue is getting darker. So as yes. as the time passes by. It starts Correct. to get darker, and it's really amazing that color. I've never seen a blue tea before. Yeah, yeah. So, so what happens if you go over two minutes or under two minutes? Uh, if you go over two or three minutes, it's okay. okay. But okay. if over three minutes, because it's green tea, mm -hmm. it will taste like bitter. Oh, it'll be too mm -hmm. bitter. Yeah, bitterness. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so the flavor comes out in during. Yes, because we don't want bitterness. We want everything. Uh, balance, like okay. mm. we have some sourness, some sweet, and then a little bit bitter, but not too much. So you can okay. accentuate all the different notes, yeah. right? Now, I've got a question uh, for my friend Indra here. Um, what sort of snacks do you usually have when you have <laughs> consumed tea? Because as guys... Bre scones, <laughs> like English. That's high tea. People, high yeah. tea. Is there any particular, like, is there a favorite thing like you can have on the side? Well, or can you only yes, consume this the way it is? Uh, there are so many types of tea with so many different flavors and aromas. So any kind of food can have its pairing. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Like uh, w uh, we need to know the characters of the tea, the flavor, the aroma, and then like if we have uh, like black tea, black tea is yes. has a strong bold. body, yeah. bold, so it will goes well with like uh, food that. 
sweet. Oh, it will cut the, the sweetness. Yes. Makes it more balanced. Yeah. But we cannot pair the Japanese green tea like this yeah. with something too sweet. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is needed to be paired it. with something fresh. Yes. 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 Gotcha. Oh. Okay, so it depends. Like on a salmon sashimi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When I was reading this, I was like, she oh, so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes so good. The color of that. Beautiful, right? It's amazing. More you get a shot of that? Yeah, there's a perfect shot of it right oh, there. Oh, yes. This Greedy. Oh, my God. Much it's the same cup. color as the, it's yeah. It's like a blue ocean. Yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. Among the experts, Maratna, which country has the best tea quality? Actually, as at the moment. country is has different teas. Mm. So like Japanese green tea is totally different with Darjeeling. Mm. So if you, you cannot compare okay, more. Okay, okay. Because Japanese green tea is just like this. Yeah. Yes. And Darjeeling is so different. Yeah. Chinese green tea is different. different. Too. Okay. Poor Chinese dark tea is very different. It's mm. earthy. Some people love it, some people don't okay. love it. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, this smell is amazing, <laughs> by the way. And beautiful. I wish we could send so you, good. our viewers, what exactly. we're smelling. But smells. unfortunately, you can only see us drinking it. So. Amazing. Mm. By the way, have you ever considered being a grandmaster of tea? I know there's grandmasters, right? <laughs> is there any grandmaster of tea? Uh, there is. There are grandmasters, but you, yeah, years and years of experience, which you have, obviously. This is great, wonderful stuff, uh, by the way. I love teaching people how to make tea, so I have classes that teach people how to make this kind of tea. Wow, that is outstanding. Oh my oh, god. How amazing. How, how, actually, I'm so happy I you can, like it. I, I, love I it. can choose one, which one which is one the would best. You choose? No. No, I can't. Yeah, no, can. no okay. it's not yeah. fair because uh, each tea has different uh, experience, taste, yes. and uh, these are all amazing. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you do this as a, the I, I tea like this? Yeah. <laughs> very Request from the customer. Yes, yes, yes. We can make iced tea and put a little bit honey oh, and yes. a little bit uh, lime juice. All right. Mm. Oh my it will be God. Better. See, there's no wrong way to do it. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. The only amazing. wrong way to do it is by not doing it at all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But don't use sugar. Yes. No, yes. Don't, no, don't no, ruin, ruin the tea because it's, it tastes amazing and have a lot of benefit to our body. Right? Yes, correct. You, you feel calmer and relaxing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I feel happier. I need to uh, learn more to have this calm. Yeah. My favorite <laughs> is that last one. So credit, uh, hats off to you, Marana. That was thank an amazing so blend. Much. And thank you for dropping by today. Happy you and happy happy tea day. You love the tea. We have fun. We love it. We had a blast. <laughs> Yes. Well, thank you for being this. Thank you for the International Tea Days and that way we can taste all these be beautiful things. Well, it's time for another break, but we will have more updates from around the world when we come back here on the Sea Morning Show only on Sea Today. Stay here. Thank you, Mbak.